Hi, I'm Nikki, the obsessive bookseller, and welcome to my channel. If you missed it, there's a part one to this video of our used bookstore trek down the western United States coast. And today we are in a tiny town in Northern California about to hit up the first shop for the second half of the journey. Probably going to be a lot more of the same, but hey, I love browsing books, so come along with me. Okay, that one had mostly new titles, no hardcovers whatsoever. But as we were walking, there's another one that didn't even show up on the map, just like right across the street here. So we're gonna go check that one out. Wow, even more back here. That bookstore had a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff, but unfortunately nothing that I'm on the hunt for. So on to the next one. Good morning. Today we are going to make our trek from somewhere in who knows where middle of California through Yosemite. But between here and there, we've mapped out six different bookshops we want to hit. So I'll show you how those go. And then after Yosemite, there's really not a lot until Vegas. And I think Vegas will be our final destination when it comes to books. We'll stop at a few there. And I think if I bring home any more books than that, uh, my car won't run anymore. So yeah, this has been a really fun trip. I hope we find a few good finds today. Because I have so many so far, I'm probably going to be a lot more picky at each of the shops. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, not a bad haul. This is what we're walking away with today. On our way out, we noticed a little doggy in the bookstore window. So cute. That last place was the grotiest bookstore we've been to so far. The first hardcover that I pulled out had a dead spider on it. And yeah, I feel like I have them crawling all over me after being in there. Uh, that said, we did walk out with one hardcover. And now we are in transit to the next couple before the end of this leg of the journey. Oh my God, I just saw it. This is the one I've been looking for and it's in pretty decent condition. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This one is insane. This is arguably the most exciting haul yet. There are so many things in this stack that I am super excited for. Oh my god. We are on the weirdest, bumpiest old country road I've ever seen in my life. That last place was so cool. I'm going to mention it by name. It's Jerry Cloudier's Books. I don't even know what city it's in. I'll put it on the screen. But that place was awesome. Like, pristine hardcovers just sitting there. And I think part of that is because the owner is just one person running the whole shop and it was massive. And she doesn't have any sort of online presence. So those books, like, all of those treasures were just sitting there waiting to be found. That was awesome. And to top it off, I must have had at least $150 worth of books checking out. And she gave them all to me for about 70 It was just two massive piles of hardcovers. So, yes, check that place out if you're ever in the area because yeah, a lot of cool stuff in there. We 
thought we were going to have time to hit all six bookshops today, but three of the six were already closed before we got to them. So now we are just biding our time until we hit Vegas in a couple days, and that'll be the last hurrah. Seriously, really bumpy road. Change of plans. We decided we were too chicken to drive over the high mountain passes on the route we had planned. So we are going down the state and then over instead of directly over first. And the only benefit of backtracking is that we will be passing a couple more bookstores on the way down. And we're in deep now, we might as well keep swimming. At some point we will be passing through Vegas and I thought for such a big city that it would be teeming with used bookstores, but no. There are two and only one of them is going to be open on the day that we'll be there. Which I don't know why I was surprised at that because Vegas isn't really known for its avid readers, but I figured there would be enough, like a big enough population to justify at least more bookshelves than small town Oregon coastal cities. So yeah, that's gonna be a bust, but hopefully the one that we do get to go to is gonna be pretty good. It's got dragon in the title. So yeah, that bodes well. One of the ones we're going to hit today had a few pictures of their bookshelves online and I was able to make out a hardcover copy of Furies of Calderon. It's the first book in the series by Jim Butcher, and I've been collecting the rest of them throughout the trip. I'm missing books one through three, and that one is unavailable across the board online, so I'm hoping that I'm the only one who saw it online and wants to go pick it up and that it'll still be there, but you know, fingers crossed. Okay, pretty good haul at that last place. And on to the next one. Oh my God. This is awesome. We are well past the point of ridiculous now for the amount of books that we're bringing home. This last box here is what we picked up at that last place. Like I've been known to go on book buying binges from the book outlet and other places with lots of good deals. Um, but even, even then, like this is an exorbitant number of titles and I am spending way more than I intended to. I'm kind of looking at it as like a once every decade type of adventure. I don't think I'll have a chance to do this again for a really long time. And I like, kind of at the point where I'm already in so deep, I might as well just keep going until we're finished. I've got one more shop to check out. And then tomorrow we'll go to the one in Vegas. It's getting to the point where I'm finding new, newer copies of books that I picked up on the Oregon coast, thinking I wouldn't be able to find any more of them. And now I'm finding like cleaner copies and having the debate do I buy two and just keep the nicer one yeah and then there's a few where I'm looking at them going have I picked that one up yet I can't quite remember and I probably will be paying off all of these purchases for the next several months so this is my Christmas and birthday combined easily that one. I bought that Jacqueline Carey that we found, but I did not spend a lot of time in there. This is in a really like creepy part of whatever city we're in. I can see a homeless person from here and it smells really bad. So yeah, we're going to book it from here. No pun intended. All right. We are here in Vegas. The last stop of this journey. The sign is promising. It's actually called Dragon Castle Books. You can kind of see it there on the door. So anything with dragon in the title, I feel like we're going to be doing well. Here goes.
All right, this is it. The last stack before home. <sighs> Back home, finally. I'm so excited to be here. I am going to bring in all of the books that we have purchased and stack them up. And in a couple of weeks, I'll do a massive book haul video. I'm probably just going to consolidate it into one long video instead of splitting it up into two. At this point, to be totally honest, I'm not even sure what I have anymore. Ignore those. Those are from the bookshelf project. Alright, I collapsed the tripod down and moved all the books that were in the way so you could fully appreciate this colossal pile of books. Holy shit. Here's the haul! I cannot believe I picked up this many books. It's even more than I thought. I'm going to be paying these off for at least six months, I'm sure of it. Um, this pile over here, this shorter stack is everything that my husband found and so I'm gonna show those in the haul as well he got some good stuff this trip for me was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing I don't usually buy books with this much wild abandon but it was a lot of fun a lot of good memories thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey and I can't wait to show you everything I picked up and I hope to catch you next time bye